Hola everybody, welcome to Two Feet Tall. How are you guys doing today? Are you excited that today is a gift? That God has given us this opportunity today to just interact, to be with our family, to make a difference in someone's life. Oh my goodness. I pray that you get excited about your life and you stop waking up dreading going to work, dreading doing chores, dreading. I Man, if you're doing chores, it's because you got a house, okay? If you're cooking food, it's because you got a refrigerator and electricity. Come on, man. Can we get this finally? Can we get to the point of gratefulness in our lives that we have air in our lungs. We got everything we need. We got God. We got Jesus in our life. We got everything we need, honey. That's what scripture says. So what do you believe in today? I pray today that God blesses you, that his favor is upon you, that you are open to receive everything he has for you today. In the glorious mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Hallelujah. So I want to talk to you about what God wants for you. Yeah, man, God wants some good stuff for y'all. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for you to prosper, to have a good and abundant life. Man, that's what God wants. So let's get out of his way and let him give us what he wants. Because what he wants is so much better than what we want for ourselves. I guarantee you, man. Because we can't even imagine the goodness of God. We can't even come close. Our minds can't wrap around the infinity and the wonderfulness of God, right? God wants you to thrive in every area of your life. Okay, what does this mean? But we will not thrive in our lives independently from an essential ingredient, right? You can't make beef stew without the beef, right, honey? So we can't have a good life without this ingredient. This ingredient is faith. Yes, it is, honey. This is one area of your life that you cannot afford to be weak in or fragile. You cannot. Faith is the main ingredient of your walk with God. Your faith is cataclytic and it's consequential, honey. Yeah, big words, right? <laughs> it makes everything work. When your faith is off, your life is off. It doesn't work. It's like having your whole house plugged into something, right? But the main breaker is off. It's Everything's connected, but it's not on, honey. You got to have your faith on. Without faith, prayer doesn't work. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. I mean... You need your faith, baby. That is the that is the foundation that you build your relationship with Christ, right? You can't even be saved without faith, right? It says you can't please God without faith. If we don't have faith in God, it's like saying, it's like questioning his credibility. We say we believe in God, but we're questioning his credibility when we don't have faith, when we don't trust in him, that he's going to perform his word in our life. I don't know, I can't even begin to compare God to anything or anyone. But the best analogy I can give you right now is if, when we don't have faith in God, it's like saying Bill Gates can't buy a pack of gum. How ridiculous is that? I'm just saying. So I pray that you start to get to know God. Get to know him before you meet him, honey. Get to know him and find out who you are in him and start to walk in alignment, honey, because he's got some good stuff for you. I pray that you thrive today, that you start to walk out in the plan and purpose that God has for you today. In the glorious name of Jesus, hallelujah. I am on Thriving Street and Abundance Avenue. Where you at? Holla.